Shortly after testimony started today in the trial of Charles Dyer, accused of sexually abusing a seven-year-old girl, the judge declared a mistrial. The reason? The judge ruled that the Stevens County District Attorney's Office made inappropriate contact with a few of the jurors. The DA had sent a survey to them last week asking their opinions on how a previous case they had been chosen for was conducted, which is a standard procedure. Even though the content had nothing to do with the Dyer case, the judge felt it could potentially impact the jurors. And that is tonight's big story. 7 News reporter Laura Hagan was there when the case came to its stunning end. Laura, if these letters are standard, then why declare a mistrial? Dave, because a survey is normally sent after their jury term ends, not during it. This impropriety became known at the end of the first break around 1045 this morning. When court reconvened after lunch, Dyer's attorney asked for a mistrial and the judge granted his request. This afternoon around 3, you could see prosecutors and defense attorneys lugging their boxes full of case files out of the courtroom. And just hours after they had delivered opening arguments and began hearing testimony. During the first break, someone informed the judge that members sitting on Dyer's trial had received mail from the Stevens County District Attorney's Office. The judge told the courtroom a staff member mailed the letters to 39 jurors on January 20th who had sat on three jury trials last week, now two of them on Dyer's panel and one as an alternate. The judge also said he did not think the content of the letters and surveys pertained to Dyer's sexual abuse trial, but that in the end it could potentially sway the jury. The judge stressed it was not the jury's fault and that this should not have happened, and the prosecutors themselves did not know about the mishap until this morning. In fact, prosecutors had just started questioning their first witness, the mother of the alleged victim, when the request for a mistrial was set in motion. Now, this is the second mistrial on the same charge for Dyer. The previous one came in April when the jury was deadlocked and unable to reach a verdict. Prosecutors had already set the date for another retrial. This one is scheduled for April 16th. Back to you. And that same procedure forced a mistrial in another high-profile case in Stevens County today. Three jurors who sat on other panels last week and are now hearing Brandon Balthrop's trial for sexual misconduct also received those surveys from the DA's office. And like the Dyer trial, opening arguments had been delivered and testimony from the first witness had been heard when the improper contact was brought to the judge's attention. Balthrop is a former Stevens County Sheriff's deputy who was accused of sexually assaulting women on the job, including two teenagers he allegedly pulled over. Balthrop was dismissed from the Sheriff's office in July 2010 and was formally charged a month later. His retrial is also set for April.